Katie's had completely enough of the heat. It's a little bit cooler tonight, but it's still freaking warm. And we don't have any way on the property to cool down, really. Four days ago, I it was 43 degrees, and I was literally hugging an air conditioner, not cool enough to sleep. We went to the beach. You can't complain about the heat when you're sitting in the water drinking beer, but you can't get anything done. It's too hot. That's the sound of a water bomber because there's a, there's a forest fire nearby, which they're taking good care of, they're doing an awesome job. But uh, it's it's one of those ugly summers, you know. It's too hot, no rain. Yeah, it's nice if you're down at the beach, but in every other aspect, it's gross. You want to do something at home? Too hot. You, you literally, like for the last three days. If we would have done any work at home, heat stroke, not even heat stress. We would have had it full on. It's just too hard to even be alive up here. Now we're gonna get these plates on here. I made these at my sheet metal shop. Katie will drill these out and I'll throw, them, throw some legs in them and that'll be that. calls it for that project. Greg was a silly goose and only made six plates when he should have made nine. And only got four, eight, sixteen. <laughs> and he didn't get enough only leg bolts. 21, Guess we're calling it a night unless we find something else to do. Oh no, we're but, uh, Katie, we're getting on that mill. And we're gonna go clean up the mill, which I'm not gonna film because that sounds boring, as I know it will be. <laughs> so Necessary. yeah, we'll see you on the next project. Hi, we just got back from going to procure very sought after, hard to acquire materials for our plumbing. Yeah, um, well we went to one store and he said, you're not gonna, we don't have it, you won't have it till mid July. There's a shortage of there's, You won't find any in, in this area. And we're like, okay, well put us on the list, I guess, and we'll be putting in our plumbing once the subfloor's on, which Brutal. means we'd have to be underneath everything. Mm -hmm. Tough. But then, Greg was, clever enough to, Foresight, man. <laughs> to um, call another store that was 20 minutes away and they had it. Hey, so. do you have three, do you have four inch PVC? Yeah, we have about 350 pieces of them. <laughs> okay, sweet. <laughs> we so, need eight. <laughs> we had to drive to another town to get it, but that's not yeah. a big deal. So shortage, I don't know. There is, but they just had a bunch. We get lucky sometimes. Yeah. yeah. We actually get lucky all the time. Yeah. So, so we're going to be putting in our sewer line today and yeah. potentially putting in our water line depending on how well the sewer line goes in. I mm -hmm. actually have a friend coming to help out a bit today, um, doing some digging and help me set this line. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get our, our angles right and it's just our ground plumbing so it's just where everything comes into. So we basically have three ports. We've got one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom and one for the laundry room. Mm -hmm. So shouldn't be too hard. There'll be a little bit of digging today. It's kind of muggy. It's half raining half super hot yeah half gonna be lightning light the forest on fire it's yeah. just one of those beautiful summer afternoons you know what i mean katie should we get to work yes yes let's go
I'm putting in the sewage plumbing and I need to line up where my kitchen is going to drain and where my bathroom is going to drain. Pretty simple stuff. I got 16 feet out that way from this nail right here which represents the edge of our house and then I have eight and a half feet that way. So what I'm going to do is measure that out, spray a little line and then that's where I'm going to start my plumbing from, the high side and then keep on working my way down.